In this demo, we'd like to create an automation script which will uh, create a list of users and configure the workspace of each user by downloading a zip file and uh, setting up the default content of the workspace for each user. So I have here Eclipse with a plugin called Shell, Shell ED and I will start by creating a new project of type Shell script, give it a name like workspace and in here I will create a new file of type Shell script with the same name. Okay, I will just rename it. Yeah, by default it has the the right extension. So um, we will use as interpreter born shell. This is the path to the born shell. And uh, let's assume that we should go in the terminal and we we should go in the workspace folder where we have created the, the script. And here we have our script. Then let's just uh, make it executable, so give the right to execute. Now I, ha I see that uh, I can execute that script. And I will just try to execute my script, uh, which does nothing in the beginning. But the idea is that I will have to specify here a group, and then I will say, like for instance, demo, and then a list of users, like user1, comma separated, user2, user3, and then we can specify the home directory where the user should be created, like in the by default should be the home folder. And then we can say that uh, we will have to download from a URL the resource, and we also have we can have a proxy. So let's just take the arguments in that way. We will do the following: as long as we have the number of the arguments greater than zero, then we do the following. We check with the case what is the value of the first argument and if this is like group equals something then we'll do um, uh, first we will define a variable and we will echo the value of the first argument and then we will cut by the delimiter equal and take the second field. Then we shift it, we reduce the first argument and go to the next one. So this is what we do in case we encounter a group equals. If we have users, we will take the users. Okay. <coughs> if then, if we have the home argument, we will create a variable and take the value for the home. In case we have UR URL, then we create a variable and take the value of the URL in the same way eventually if we have a proxy for the call to the url then we take the proxy if we have something that we cannot understand like uh, any value then we just shift the argument so we don't uh, uh, end up looping on the same argument so this is how we take the value of the arguments in the end we have to check that all the necessary arguments are set. But the home argument may have a default value, like for instance, the home, the, the home of the users. So let's then check that we have defined several arguments, like it's not empty, the content of the group, because we need to create a user in a group. Then uh, we check that it's not empty, the content of the users. We also need to know what is the home of the user so this should not be empty as well except uh, for that we can have arguments like uh, url or proxy empty because probably we don't need to set a default content of the uh, workspace of the user so if so let's then output the value of the of the group and then output the value of the users and why not output the value of the home? Otherwise, if we don't have the, in the necessary information, we then say to the user, this is the way you should do, use the script, this is the name of the script, you have to specify the group, and sorry for that, the group, and let's just go to the next line, and then indent this, and this will be 
uh, name of the group. The user must also enter uh, the users list, which will be uh, comma separated uh, list of users. Um, he also need to specify on the next line we put some other argument like home equal home directory and some other help information like an optional argument like home is also optional okay this is optional as well um, also we have the URL which is optional and this is endpoint of the sample workspace oh, workspace yeah and then some other information like for instance uh, which is also optional which is the proxy and this is HTTP proxy okay so then let's just with this let's just test it in our terminal and uh, as you can see it says that um, this is the way the script should be called with some information and we set the group the user the home the url the proxy so something was was wrong in the way we we did it so let me check it uh, again for you so group is set user is set no user is not set so let's test this again sorry for the mistake we did and as you can see the group is demo the user list is that and we have the home set as well now let's just continue and work with the arguments that we received so first of all what we need to do is to create the group but before creating the group we have to make sure that the group doesn't exist so we have a command a command which is displaying all the groups but the groups that have users but we can also go and uh, if we display the group file we have here the name of the group so we have to to cut this by by the uh, uh, by the delimiter and then check if the group exists or not so first of all let's say that we didn't find the group and then we iterate with a variable and we just do a cut and <coughs> take the first field by this delimiter and the name of the file is from the configuration um, uh, folder from the settings folder we take the group so in here we have to check and to compare if the variable g is equal as a string with the name of the group that we need to set and if so we then say that found equals to something else and we break it in the end we check if the variable found is still equal as a number with zero and if so we have to create the group so we can create the group by calling the group add and we specify the name of the group now we have to make sure that we download the file uh, once if uh, it is set so let's check if we have something for the um, uh, the URL and if so we have to check if we have a proxy to use so if the proxy it's not empty we need to call the web get command so then the proxy should be as no I don't s substitute anything but the proxy should be like this we set an extra parameter which is called use proxy when we call the web get and we set this to yes and then we specify the HTTP proxy to be the value of the proxy and then we say that it has to use the same value for the HTTPS proxy which should be um, the proxy as well so now that we change the value of the proxy now we can go and actually use it but we need to generate the random name for the file so one option to give it a name would be to call the date and take the nanosecond of the date 
and this will generate a number and we take this number as a name so the name would be an archive will be as dot zip so let's do the following let's do a web get let's set the output to be the name with the extension dot zip and then we use uh, also the proxy which eventually if this is empty it will be empty but otherwise it will be this value okay <coughs> and then we, we say what should be the name uh, the, the location the endpoint of the URL but because this is actually displaying a lot of stuff we then redirect the output to dev null but since the program also has a console of for errors we redirect the error console which is the second one to the first one which is the standard output console so in this manner we redirect the standard output and we redirect the error uh, the standard error console okay so now that we we uh, we've got the zip now all we have to do is to iterate to the list through the list of the users and create the users and make sure that we set the home folder of the users so first thing that we need to do would be to iterate to the list of the users so we can do that by for instance checking that the list of users is not empty so while it is not empty we have to take the first user in the list so the content of the users variable it is comma separated so we delimit this by comma and we take the first field in the end we will update the list of users by getting the actual list of users cutting this by the delimiter comma and taking from the second field up to the end to the end of the list but it's it is possible if we have only one item remained that this cut will do nothing and the result will be the same so for the last element it will have the same value so in this case what we need to check is that the current user is equal as a string with what the user users list contain so if it's the last user then what we need to do would be to set the variable users to have an empty content so we will end the, the while okay so in between we need to do the job for the current user so what actually uh, has to be done for the for the user first of all make sure that the user exists and delete it if it already exists yeah uh, perhaps we need to make sure that we redirect all the stuff like when we create the group make sure that we don't see the information about the group that has been created and so on so in here i have to check if the user already exists one option would be to check what to search the id of the user so with this value we search the id of the user and we also redirect all the information displayed by the command we only need to see if the user exists or not if exists then we do a user del to delete the user and we delete the user and we also redirect any information about the user okay so we don't need to see it but we just need to make sure that we did it secondly we have to make sure that we delete the home of the user i mean not the home of the user uh, like it was before but the directory where we need to set the home so let's check if the directory already exists in the home directory in the sp specific user home directory so if it exists then all we need to do is to remove it recursively so we then remove the content of the home directory of the user folder inside the home directory and then we can just do the same way and make sure that we see nothing about what the command is saying but make sure that we we execute the command now we need to create the user so we call the user add but before calling the user add we need to set some parameters we need to set the password and so on so how we can generate the password one way would be um, uh, to generate the password for the user to generate it automatically 
one way would be the following so we um, display the date like the nanosecond of the date then we do a check sum of this so we call md5 sum and this will be quite big so uh, it's, it's too large to to say this is a reasonable password so we take the choice from 5 to 10 including the first one so we take like six correct uh, six characters for the for the password and this would be our initial password but when we create the user the password must be encrypted so let's gen let's let's then uh, create an encrypted password variable and we do the following we call the open ssl support uh, open ssl sorry <coughs> open ssl so we call the password command with minus one and the argument would be uh, the password that we created so this will actually encrypt the password so then we take the encrypted password and set it for the user then we specify that the name of the groups should be this one and the, the directory of the user should be in the home folder and with the name of the user and then we say the name of the user should be this one okay this will also output some information but we make sure that we see nothing of it and then only if the user has been successfully created then we set the folder the home directory we create with make directory we create the home of the user make sure that it has been created and we also need to check if we have to unpack the, um, um, the default um, uh, project for the user. So we then check if the, with a test of course, if the URL was not empty. So if it's not empty, then we need to call the unzip command and it will unzip from where we downloaded it, this and it will output to a directory which will be inside the home directory of the user. So then this is all that we need to do to copy, to unzip the, the folder, <coughs> to unzip the, the archive. But then we need to, to list all the content <coughs> in here, all the content of the user directory and we read as long as we are able to read from this okay and here what we need to do is to check uh, first to to change the group owner so we do a change group command and the name of the the group should be the one which the user belong to and then the resource should be this entry so for each resource inside the home of the user we set the group to be the group of the user and then we change the, the owner of the resource to be also the user. And then we need to change the permission, like for instance, for the other user users to remove the right permission on that, because when we download something from the net, it might contain the permissions uh, to be publicly accessible, which is not the case. We don't want to have this. Now, all that after uh, all that uh, creation of the user setting up the folder and so on we need to display the information like for instance the user has been created with this password so that we know what the password was now that we have the script first of all let's say that we don't have any error on this because uh, as you may see we can easily break something so it was okay. We, if we don't supply uh, the arguments, at least the syntax was correct up to this point, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it will uh, work fine or even it will execute fine because uh, we might have some problems with uh, the script itself. Um, like for instance, in here, I forgot to put this and it will not be, uh, it will not replace the encrypted password. So be careful what you are uh, writing first let's go to to github and let's uh, explore the github and eventually let's say that we'd like to download something from the 
any project like programming languages we 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 can use closure for instance as a sample so we just take the url and then we will use this url okay so what i am trying to do um, first of all let's go to the home folder um, in here in the file system if i go to the home folder i have my my only user with the one i'm running right now but then let's go to the terminal and try to execute the script and let's say that we'd like to create a group like demo um, I think we already use something like this so let's create these users uh, you know what let's go with some more users okay why not and the home should be this one the URL will we will fill this but we don't have a proxy we don't need a proxy so this is the URL okay it's downloading the archive and it's doing nothing let's just check what it did and uh, make sure that we will make it run so once again uh, we set the users but I think it was a problem with the name of the node the, the users are okay uh, just a second to to see what was wrong so um, we don't have we created the group and if we have the url then we did this so anyway this was done i think let's check it first if it was done or not so let's go to where we have the workspace and in this case the workspace is in uh, is in my workspace folder in the root so um, let me just go to, to my workspace uh, it's not this one it is definitely in my home user but you know what let's just go to the terminal and see uh, if we have something in here as you can see it managed to download the zip so it went up to this point it was okay this one but then it, ch it checked if we have while the users it's not empty then we take the user let's see that this it's happening or not so make sure that we have this okay so once again let's work uh, download the the archive again so we do have the users that's fine okay once again so if the user exists then we delete it um, we make sure that we delete the home of the user we create a password and we try to invoke this let's see that we have a password so let's echo the value of the password okay once again so it's downloading the archive and we do have a password for each user and let's move forward then if the user had been crea successfully created then we create this so let's see that the, the the home of the user is created I mean let's just output this to see that the script went up to here so once again let's execute this okay so no it didn't so this was the problem um, let's see that if the command was the other way around okay and let's execute the script again uh, okay no so the command was user add but uh, it didn't work so we passed the name of the user you know what let's just see what the command did okay once again okay so it says that the, the demo group does not exist yeah nice to see it so we forgot actually to create it so we delete it but we don't create it okay as far as i remember no we we created so um so if the group exists then we do a group add let's see why not why this is not working okay so it says I don't have permissions to do that 
you it, it's right yeah okay so the script was okay but actually I, I'm not running this the script as a super user so let's then elevate our privileges and uh, become a super user of course this is not something for any user to do so it's for the the root user for the administrative account so then let's just uh, call the workspace and I'll have to enter this again so let's create a demo let's create a list of users like user 1 user 2 user 3 user 4 uh, why not user 5 and then we need to to set the home which in our case is the same but then let's create let's just give it a new url which i think we have it no we don't have it let's take the url again and stop the script so let's go to 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 this again so go to the github and probably i took this from here so let's go to the um, uh, the closure sample where I was before and copy the, the address again make sure this time we did it right uh, but you know what uh, in the end we also have to delete this so we make sure that we remove the content of the, the archive not in all the cases but only if the archive exists so why not Let's just check that the file exists. So the name.zip is the name of the file. So if so, then just remove it. Okay, it's a simple file. And why not? We don't like to see this. So I will just redirect it. Okay. So um, once again, let's clean this up. Uh, it's a mess up to now. So I don't have anything here but uh, in my home folder I do have in my workspace if I go to my workspace which was here I downloaded a bunch a bunch of files so I will just delete this okay so again go to the terminal execute this so this will be the URL and this is the last parameter that we need to set okay so now the script is downloading this it says that inflating all the stuff because we forgot when we were trying to see if it's working or not we forgot to actually suppress this one so we don't like to see what the script is saying when actually download uh, unzipping the resources but nevertheless it was uh, working fine so I will execute this again just to see it better so now it's downloading uh, once the archive it's creating the users it's outputting the password for each user and it's setting up the workspace okay so if we go to the workspace um, to the user folder this is my user but if we go to the home of the users then I can see that I have some some folders created with this uh, extracted here and if I display the details you can see um, the information about this but I will uh, display it in the command line but um, let's see how it works in real life so I will just wait here to see what's happening so it's downloading the resource I cannot see this because it's inside my user home it's creating the users it's refreshing the folders as you may see by the selection and it's outputting inside each folder once again this time i will then delete this just to see it better but i'm not able to delete this because i'm a simple user and these are as my user so i will open this as root okay and now i'm able to delete this And once again, let's execute the script. So it's downloading the resource. Okay, it's creating the folders. It's outputting the user and the password. And that's all. Okay, once again, this time I will 
I'd like to show you also the home from which we execute the script so let's go to, to my my folder I will keep this here so let's go to my workspace to the folder where we download actually the resource so let's open up the terminal again okay so I'll just make some space here I will clean this up for you okay so I will uh, wait a bit and this is what I'm doing so it's downloaded the zip it's creating the group it's creating the user it's unpacking the zip it's setting the permissions on all the resources and it's outputting the password so that's all thanks